Thank you very much for the introduction. Oh, I, I forgot the most important thing. Oh, I'll do this afterwards. Okay. My objective is somewhat different from robotics, but the tools I am using for this kind of product is derived or very close to robotics. I will first talk about what is a magnetic bearings. It may be new for some of you. There is some relation to mechatronics, the basics for robotics as well. I will have a short look at history and then go to actual industrial applications. I will concentrate on challenges in control and informatics, not on the mechanical aspects of it, just on control and informatics. And I will close with future applications. The magnetic bearing can support a rotor uh, this shaft with no contact to the stator and it is done by magnetic forces by electromagnets controlled electromagnets it's called active magnetic bearing you know permanent magnets would not allow a stable position you need a control for this magnetic forces. Therefore, we measure the displacement of the rotor within the stator. We measure the air gap. The sensor signals are processed in a controller. Nowadays, it is a microprocessor, not an analog computer. The controller signals are fed to power amplifiers and they feed a control current to the electromagnets in such a way that the rotor keeps in a hovering position with no contact at all. Well, this is a simplified version just for controlling one direction here. For practical applications, you need not a single input, single output. You need multiple input, multiple output control. So, we measure the displacement in, in a vertical direction, the inclination. We measure the displacement in horizontal direction. 